Hey everybody, it's Togi and Jockey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. Now, I was meant to play this episode at, um, what do you call it, I was meant to play it when I got back from my uh, course in baking, but my family was over, so I've just only gotten on it now, and it's 9.36pm, so I figure, um, figure, yep, I'm going to do this right now, get through an episode, and as you can see, like, I still got other save files, which I'm going to do. Because I've heard from people saying, like, my, my friend of mine saying, I'm um, not going to tell you what happens in the end, but but um, there are multiple endings, and it's more than episode, more than Life is Strange 1. So I was like, oh, okay, that's gonna be pretty cool to look at. So let's get started right now. I'm looking forward to playing this. And plus, um, after this, you know, we got, we got the comic that's coming up on the... 11th of December. Yeah, that's issue 11. Alright, now we just wait for it to load. Because what happened last was, remember, we found Karen. And turns out she left because she didn't want to lead, lead a life full of regrets, and I'm just like, sitting there, it's like, god damn it, Karen. Really? I was not, I was not happy with that, not one bit. But, because that was her excuse. Alright, here we go, it's loading up now, it's loading up. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there, with their papa wolf. They lived in peace, until hunters took their dad away. Uh, Goddamn hunters. For days well, it was hunter, nights, not hunters. Learning but... how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was, a super was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They yeah, man, I about fucked up getting Sean laid with Cassidy, danger God damn it. seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt. And the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. And he but got when out. he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not. <laughs> a coyote leave them. cult. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said. She came to help rescue. I assume this is what he's drawing, right? They it's not just the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. She got he fucked was up. Their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, with them up. followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hide. Oh, she has a hideaway? Oh, I gotta see this. Life is Strange 2 is a story based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences and impact the world around you and your brother. Choose wisely. I'll try to. You know me, like, I'm, I support Daniel and his powers in this. I'm like, yeah, use your powers whenever. Seven weeks after the events at Haven Point. Haven Point was too cold, okay. So it's two months. It's over two months. Or two months? No, no. How many weeks are in a month? Yeah, four, four weeks in a month, so... So almost two months then. Oh, they're going to eat that scorpion, aren't they? They're going to kill it. They're going to eat it. Mm. 
Oh, imagine, oh, if it stings Sean in his other eye. That's not good, that's not good, that wouldn't be good at all. Hey, wake up, Sean. <clears throat> Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. I think I could still hear it. Was that the legs just moving then? <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I keep hearing that sound. Is it Scorpion walking or is that this rocks falling off? Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. I haven't it's seen okay. without the bandage. Wonder if they without the bandage. Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. I remember speculating before, like, like I was saying, like, would Daniel die, or would Sean die, would, or would Daniel, or would so, Sean sacrifice himself to save Daniel? Are you still like having that? those bad dreams? Wonder, you know, wonder about Elizabeth, happen. or maybe Karen? No, go across the border. I guess. Well, let's have to wait and see. I don't feel that bad about what I did. Elizabeth maybe deserved that. She's a goddamn cultist. That's bad. Elizabeth was the. Yeah, her or us? Not in this case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Elizabeth says cult this. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. Yeah, she was evil. She was evil. Yeah. But we're better than her. I hope so. I was so mad. Just wanted to rage. Like Lisbeth. Sean. Are we criminals now? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. Yeah, questionable things. If the cops catch us... We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? We don't know how it ends, though. So. Oh, yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. Yeah, so it's the journal as the, the ventures go on, he's filling it out. Okay, at yeah. some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied... The evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me, the evil who's chupacabra. telling the story? You are, but... 
It's my story too. Right? That is true. <sighs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. And then lol, that, that, that actually is shit up one of the endings town. they have to defeat an evil trooper cover. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. Okay. This place is too pretty. Constellations. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Draw, okay. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. Yeah, I remember he's drawing for that good <laughs> too, episode four because of his but eyesight. If I can see it in my mind, he said it hurt. I when can he, still sketch anything. When he tried sketching, so we'll have to see how he improves Almost. on it. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing, ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the tin. Yeah, badass. Hmm. I can try. Nice. My back hurts a little. I'm glad. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now the big. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. Activate flashlight. On the way. I can't have him use that. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. Never, I've never I seen this eclipse before. Here. I'd like to see one. Eclipses are every 50 years or so, right? Uh, I'm not too sure. This power is so cool. I love tie-dye and stuff now. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop. Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. Uh, Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What about the sleeping bags? Oh, what's he playing with now? Yeah, I know he's got something because it's the sound. Oh, oh it's doing? that scorpion from the opening, is it? No time to Dude, play. we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. He's out there. I wish we saw my huh. fallen stars. Or any. 
Time to. Hey, <laughs> well, I should say time we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. Arthur and Stanley. These we... guys are real cool. Amazing. Uh, Is that anything actually... can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Wait, does that mean that's like, like uh, just a weed, or was it like actual cannabis? Huh? Think Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah, you're like the magic is. Hmm. Now what the hell is that? Hell yeah, you're like the magic assistant. Right. Yes, Daniel, fetch me Daniel? this possible collectible. I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. What is We're it? We're taking this treasure. I have no idea what that what it is. Anyway. What I was saying is, it's nice the magic place. Find option one plus one of five. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Oh, so all these Mom people that they would know about, about the power. power. Why do you think? She's confused. She's in, she's in <laughs> denial. I think she's in denial. I was gonna ask. I was what do you mean? Hoping like he Karen... said, maybe she has the power kind of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe she doesn't want to believe it. I don't get it. I hear you. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful... Oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. What the hell is... It would be Bro so cool to have him around. Brody's one of the friends <laughs> from the school. Then. I miss him sometimes. So what do I have? I got a walkie-talkie. Alright, so we still got this here. Walking to remaining haven point. We got Daniel back, but at what cost? What the hell happened? Why did you really have to die, Daniel the mythical beast? Getting the hell out of haven point now. Glad Karen is dying. We need to breathe. Sarah Lee just needs to go. You, you. Karen lives in a desert. Oh, okay, so let's find out what's happening. Karen lives in a desert commune. No shit. Unincorporated community, she said. It's called anyway. Only 30 people live here on off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing. The perfect hideaway. Daniel's still feeling so confused, guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing, the lies, Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Doing my best to help him recover. Sure hope they're fine now. Karen is a big help too. She's good with words. The letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends. So do I. Okay. I don't know about that letter. I don't think I've seen that letter. Because this is obviously, that letter means after the fourth episode. Total trip to live with Karen again. She's trying her best, but I'm still not ready to open up. Maybe I'll resent her forever. Maybe I'll deal with it. Daniel was getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty interesting. So, still trying her best, but I'm not ready to open up. Because I, I, I still wasn't happy. That was the reason she left. I was like, God damn it. Daniel's power is no secret here, no one gives a shit. They just go along with it and don't see it as something they can use to their own advantage. Refreshing. Roar. Who's gonna tell? We already have the batshit crazy sand people. David. 
So this place, this place away is what you make it. Joan haunts, haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to a best friend it seems. Coolest hack, ornamental tattoos. Take my, take my time today. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together ten years ago from ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, getting well. This place makes me want to draw, could stare at these canyons forever. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. I need to find ways to help him process this. Karen told us to told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike. Oh, okay, so that's what this was here. Probably the what well, what the opening was. Probably the best view ever. Going to stargaze all night. I think. Yeah. And that's the drawing I just did there. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. Alright, so let me meet. So, is there really 30 people there, or are we only going to see like a few people? Solomon here. Life is Strange 2. Episode 5. Wolves. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? Huh. Back soon. Oh, so this is their little house they share, is it? I love how he just puts that telescope in his pocket because logic. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. Uh, let me see these. Where are these pancakes? Take USB key. Okay, then. Poems. She's really good at rewriting her own life. Oh, if it goes. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Name tag. Either Karen was desperate for a job. Happy world, Florida. Or she loved working with kids. Yes, give me those pancakes. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. <laughs> Their love for pancakes. Could I have put the hot sauce on the pancakes? I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. 
Yeah, but I wanted to know if I could. Gross. Win. No? Okay then. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party. Oh, he's ten now. feel so happy. Look at the picture. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Who the hell is that next to us? Hard times. I assume that's Karen on the left. I don't know who that is. Maggie and Karen, summer 11. What? Summer... Looks like they all finally found their home. Let's see, there's Karen there. But Karen looks so young summer and fragile in this picture. Hmm. Oh. Hard times. Oh, because this, yeah, because this one's set in. Because the first time, uh, let me see. This is set two years later, isn't it? No, this one's set in like 2016. This one's 2016. Okay, so that that was, unlo but the year's 2017 now, is it? Since Christmas in episode two, Jacob's letter. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They right, deserve first, some after peace. After we got ah, oh, it's a new letter. Thanks to you and your brother, I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister. Just like your brother, you are lucky to have each other and we are blessed when, when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everything is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. <laughs> so cute. Hi, Daniel. Hope <laughs> you are good and happy. Looks like Lila has some competition now. I feel so much better now. I am so happy I got to see the ocean for the first time. Even tried to surf. I think I could be good at it. I wish you were here so we could go to the beach, even if the water is cold. I love this weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, Sarah Lee. So good to have a home again and a real bed. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. Oh, laptop. Chores. Was it I totally pads? forgot about that key. Whoa. What's this? I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Misty my stickers. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Uh, what's Karen Tabs? Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Thank you for <laughs> your Must pay last... better than poetry. Advice column, we got a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insight. Looking forward to your next piece. Alright. Watch Sean's. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. Last time I saw. Oh, I remember. And seeing the good into it. Oh, okay. I hope I see him again next in the. Like, if they do make a comic series, I wouldn't mind seeing him again. He's pretty cool. I don't feel... If you all want to read this, then... Yeah, you go ahead and read it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Me during day three, all good, under control. Me at 3 a.m. in my bed. Lila Park uploaded a new profile picture. I hope, I hope nobody's mad. I've been out of touch. Brain needed a time out. Yes, it can happen to me too. People are such pussies about mental health. Just talk and take care of each other, FFS 43 like this. Thanks for the powers, I cried assholes, Lila is back. Adam Barnes, hold up, I'm swimming by, waiting for you. Hello fam, I got you, be ready. Okay. C -H -S Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Super Cupra from Maybe they were nerds space. together. 
Oh, ew. Oh. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. <laughs> Alright, let's head outside now. I read that note. That was the pancake, right? Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. What was that? No, oh, that was just a poem up there. It's philosophy. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. The new stuff, okay. David's trailer. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. Uh, and ten I hope the UFOs are listening. Chris, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Morning, Sean. You think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. Morning, guys. Uh, give telescope back. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And thus free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Ah, and okay, Daniel so be there. here long after we're there gone. Couple. Hope you looked up. We did. Not that there's anything Thanks wrong for with that. I assume there are a couple the way you said darling. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Why so, coming? why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. Yeah, the obviously they are gay. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? Wow, that's After cold. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, I don't know why I put for some reason my head. When you said 59, I'm I was gonna see always thinking of saying something to do with 69. Thanks for the desert, brew. Please do remind me of Clarence Steven. Okay. 
Okay. You know. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. I can't go that way. Nothing wrong with that. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean the real Yeah, I can't go that way. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come back to Lance Place. We're making dying. wild sculpture. You think I'll be back from Hold rehab up. someday? I'll be over in a minute. I didn't know I ever left. This wasn't there. Gosh, you live in your own world, honey. <laughs> That's what I love you think they you. picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Joanne's like been Bruce cutting metal pipes this morning. I sure wish we had I him guess. around now. I didn't come out he was that. a good guy. Where am I going? Maybe you feel it off. Dude. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, where are we going now? Um... Right. What's up, Joanne? There he is. See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. She looks familiar. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Yeah, a lot to learn. Talent. Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Especially of course if one you do. I... Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, hell, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Sure. What do I have to do? Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. All right, let me look at that. Metal belly. And that's a metal head. Metal uh... Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Do like the model, but with the spider on top. Uh, if that's what you want. 
Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet. going with this clever now let's throw on that spider See? we're gonna fall down or finished sculpture I feel like we're almost done <laughs> well I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Right, so what I do now? Wait for Karen to come back. Lurid politics. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Okay. Well. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. All right, let's sit back up. <laughs> Super Wolf to LTS Glow Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my I wish Daniel great wasn't the only kid in town. <laughs> Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. All right, let's do Thanks, it. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. And where are Deal. these two items? So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. Don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Is this what you mean? Many wings that cannot fly? We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls Getting it. Getting warm. Way cold. Not too far. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Okay, um... You're warming up! Now! You're totally frozen! Getting closer! You're warming up! Not too far. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. 
I can't go over there, so I've got to go over this way. You're lost, Sean. Damn it. You're way out there, dude. Dude, you're a snowman. You're way out there, dude. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. It's under an item that will... So there has to be a sculpture yeah, there. Totally frozen. Not too far. And there's something that will blow me the uh -huh. You're warming up. Warm. Getting warm. It's close, Sean. There we go. It's probably a collectible I'm gonna find, isn't it? Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other party. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr. For the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. That eats the sun, okay. Not too far. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. Away! Ah, oh, solar panels. It's the sun, okay. You're warm. Ah, uh, clue. Um, okay, X is... Found it. Nice. And it's a... Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Alright. Uh, what is it? Wallet. He really got into his treasure, huh? Getting closer. Alright, so this is obviously what the eyes are. Alright, so it's gotta be over here. Alright, so it should be here, here. Mm -hmm. You're in the middle zone. Oh man, you're right there. Just oh, yeah? look around. Just Guess people came here with you're these here. and never left.
Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. A boat in the Getting desert. Warm. Okay then. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Dude, you're a snowman. Guess people can. No, nope, okay, let's left. fast forward that. Uh, it's fun! You're warm! Just grab it! This part You're of town here. is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Looks like something's buried here. Oh, yes, cool. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Oh god. Come on, dance. <laughs> yeah. You asked for it. Uh, yeah. Living here. The age of reason. Oh, I think you're oh, still coming back. Yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. Oh, where is she? We'll help her out with the groceries. Wait for Karen to come back. Alright, so she's obviously going to be heading back to the... Yeah, I hear a car coming. There she is. I'm just about to stand here in the road like a dick. Ah! Oh, what? Watch out! Damn it. Was there someone else in there or was it just her? I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Ken, letting us invade her space. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> After all Howdy, these Sean. Hey, what's up? What the fuck? That was a town trip. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people That's look David? at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. That's David, isn't it? The deserters have returned with offerings. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking David. Capital. Jolie. <laughs> oh my god, tell me we're gonna see Max I and Chloe you. at some point. Next time you're coming with No, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> we'll see. I sacrificed I remember I sacrificed <laughs> Arcadia Bay to save Chloe. Defying death on a daily basis. How the hell is he alive? And hydrating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Yeah, that was a it was amazing. Cool. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I need, yeah, yeah, you should get out of here, I need to talk sucks. to David. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. 
Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on it is About time you weird. boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Yeah, are you scared? Um, does, does he know about Max then? Does that kind of scare you? Me? God damn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good Yes, influence. you have. Not always easy. I know it. But he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh, of course, someone else. Oh. Yeah. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah. So Joyce is dead, okay. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, yeah, after the storm. You can't go back. Because then Chloe acknowledges nope. him as this Thanks for as talking, her dude. stepfather. Better start when my Max delivery now. Realizes that she's the cause from the storm, which I think is bullshit. I don't believe she was the cause from the storm. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. Okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Oh, okay. Am I going in? Or... I was like, who's going in first? Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Yeah, I think it's cool. <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so it peaceful is kind out of here. Peaceful there. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes. I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. What shit? I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed oh, to make it to New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's 
had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. What's going on? Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. All right, all right, because I, I get the feeling something's going on. I'm not too sure what, but something's going on. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Wait, aren't we going back up the way? This is that way, isn't it? Slow yeah. down, Mom. You Where walk too Daniel fast. Those rocks. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful. The hunters out here. <laughs> Whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. Damn right they aren't. You must hike all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. All uh, right, what's going on? Something suspicious is happening. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you.
Yeah, do you regret so, leaving us? Now that you know us better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason. The best reason what? To have regrets? Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. You're gonna Karen, make it? Be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But I have to be upfront with both of you. Yeah, I hear what it happened comes. in What's Haven the bad Point news? is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shoot. And they'll find us. Well. Oh, we got the leaves. This can last forever. So. This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Well, they're those things that you light, and they're like the rectangular shape. The, the kite things, whatever they're called. Whoa, awesome! Cool. Let's light up the sky. It's like it's Daniel making them fly or they flying by themselves. So I guess we gotta pack up and leave. Cause the feds are on our tail. Probably gonna get caught. Like, as we're leaving, I bet you that's what's gonna happen. Something break family after what? I did not read what that said.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. Such we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. Yeah, how far is the border? How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Yeah, we'll do whatever it takes. We've roof. done whatever it takes so far. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. I'll check that newspaper first. Oh, there's David. Was that right to Karen? And there's the newspaper. $146.19. Hey, hey, Karen. Karen. I'm better with drawing than writing, but still. Here it goes. Yeah, we're so different. We're both so different, and I get now that it's okay. It is what it is. Don't give up on your you freedom. You want a freedom more than a family, so never give up on that freedom. Just lay low for a while. We'll try to reach you once we find our own freedom. Until then, take care. Sean. There's the letter. Leave as is. That's cool that you can rewrite it or choose not to write it. Or like, I assume you destroy it there, that's what it means. Figures they Police seek family for us. after Nevada fire. FBI after and Nevada police did. are searching for a woman and her, oh, and her two teenage sons after the murder of a... <coughs> after, after the murder of a church reverend in Haven Point, Nevada.
Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Alright, what's in here? That's a police scan. I'm gonna look around a bit first. Must be his wife. Oh shit, there's Chloe! Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. What's this? Enclosed is your most recent depo deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per, no per your negotiated settlement for damages. Please ensure the amount is accurate and that your bank has processed the latest deposit. If you have any questions, please contact us Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. East. Best Darren Bar Agent, Glen Ross Insurance, Portland, Oregon. All right. Before I grab the patio, I just want to look around for a bit. That must have been the best meal ever. Ah, uh, two whales crying on the wall. Wait, so if he's alive, does that mean that Jefferson is possibly alive? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I fucking know Me and David that. won't be sharing any playlist. So you arrested him, I know that. Like, in episode 5, when you travel back and stop Chloe from... Um... Stop Polaroids. Stop Chloe from going this to This place has too school. many adults. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Uh, what's this? <gasps> they look cool. Oh, no way. I wonder which one is his daughter. Oh, that's a trick question. Neither are his daughter. The one in the Lexi's stepdaughter. Wow, okay. Chloe, Matt, Chloe looks so different without the, without the blue hair. And it's longer than Max. Her hair's gotten longer too. Wow. You see, like, like, okay, we got that cameo. It, it may not be them in the flesh, but hey, we got our cameo. That's so awesome. Okay, and, and, and we, I guess we know a bit about them, what they've been up to. Alright. I'm gonna grab the police scanner. Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only got to search between 140 and 160. And here you go. Another hit from the back. Mm. Doesn't sound like cops. Wait, is this it? Sam's? <laughs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Alright, let's head back out. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to see that photo of Max and Chloe. Where'd you go? Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should what be does that okay. Tell you, in... you got all that? Is that meant to be in memory or sure of Joyce Price so. or something or in memory of Akira Sean, Bay? You have to know. The police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. 
I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my uh, stepdaughter got the life and friend were one music. among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. If I come here then. So, so why did you come here in the end? I, I should have asked. To. Are you close then? Arcadia down? Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process. No matter the situation. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. Yeah, I want a new life, not turning myself in. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I really have to take this. Who is it? Hey, sweetie. Oh, it's Chloe, it's is it? It's not Joyce, that's for sure. No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Oh, they're in New York. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Oh, I said they're going to come by. Oh my god, please let, let there be a bonus episode where we get to play some Max uh, in this. Know. Come on. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right, take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Love ya.
Oh man, that's just so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get back here, I It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. One last time. Speak. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did, Did you, you ever guys go there together? Ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over yeah, with. Yeah, we gotta get the portal over. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Yeah, like, like you, know. you know all about being a parent. <laughs> Didn't say I did, smartass. But I do know some things about people, including you. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. All right, I'll make one last round before leaving. So if we just go around saying goodbye to everyone, is that Hi, it? Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, too risky yeah, for everyone. But it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? Hell yeah. We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit, I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care, you hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Yeah, it, if, I, if I make it to the beach, sure. Where's that? Yeah. 
I don't know. Come on. Yeah, there's that Joanne character. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you do. I'd say it does look <laughs> a bit off, that but you makes know, one of that's us. what Daniel wanted. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? What is it? Whoa. Oh, cool. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. It was that plus David plus Joan plus David plus Sean. I'll miss you so much, Joan. Oh, is that what it said or plus Daniel? Alright. Leave away. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Oh, that's what the place is called. They kind of say like, leave away. Know, are we like, leaving what? yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. That's what's happening here. Don't hug Karen or hug Karen. You know what, I might hug her in this one because it's like I've been ignoring her all that time as I was reading the journal, so you know. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road.
Oh, you know what? I'm just going to end the video right here because it's already past 11 and I've got to um, get up soon for my baking course. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this warfare and I'm sorry I couldn't upload it sooner. It's probably... It, it came out today on the 12th, so it's probably going to be the 13th when this video is uploaded. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is Tolgamer Junkie.